10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hi, and welcome to Dax Chats. In this episode, we are returning to the girl that is still that girl. She's just brought out a brand new track. It's called Last Time, and we're going to talk about that track today. And today, Dax Chats to Sandy Facey again. How are you, Sandy? (laughs) Hi, Dax. Nice to see you. I'm doing really well. You know, we've got a beautiful, sunshiny day in Melbourne. Oh, that's um, lovely. Uh, you get can't really get leave the go, house, but <laughs> you get no. You get to go out for two hours now. Come on. Exactly. <laughs> and apparently, a few people went out in St Kilda yesterday. That weren't they? They all got a bit close there. But no, we've oh. we've um we've been doing okay. You know, it's um it's definitely um been a long long road. And and shout out to all the Victorians who've been you know, doing it tough because yeah, it's, it's, it's hasn't, it's not only music aside, it's been tough for everyone. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Mm. absolutely. Um, And news and, and news and and news to, you know, yesterday says that, you know, it can affect anybody when uh, president Trump tested positive for COVID. So yeah. Yeah. Well, I wish him well. I hope, I hope he, um, nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. No one is, no one is. And he's in that age bracket that, Mm -hmm. um, you know, you definitely don't want to, regardless of what you think of the guy, you don't want to see him, um, yeah. you know, have something Absolutely. really bad happen. But yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So you, again, in lockdown, have brought out a, another track. You've gone and, and, we've yeah. followed you, and we followed your journey from the start. You know, still that girl was in lockdown and, um, and uh, we've, we've followed it. And you've got 21 weeks on the Country Thunder Network tr- chart with that. And um, now second lockdown, let's bring out another track. And it's called Last Time. Talk us through the new track. That's, that's right. Oh, thank you. So um Last time's a bit different. It's a little um, edgier. Uh, The songwriting process behind um, bringing that song to life. I co-wrote that song with a friend of mine named Michael Saletta. He's a um, Victorian songwriter and soon to be moving to Nashville with his beautiful wife. Um, We we were in rehearsals one day. This was about a year or so ago. And he was playing a melody and I was singing along um, we, we were rehearsing for a particular show and I was singing along and he being the songwriter that he is, he records everything and he, and he recorded me singing along. And the, the big statement was, why don't you be a man? Mm. And there was a lot of like angst and like, you know, it's not the still that girl, happy, happy. It was like, it, it brought up some real deep emotion for me. So I had to go away because I've been married for 27 years to a wonderful um, Australian man. Um, We got married in in Daybreak, Queensland years ago. So I walked out of rehearsal and I thought to myself, where did that, where did that, where did that come from? You know? So I I spent a lot of time, a few weeks before Michael and I got back together and had a chat about the song. And, and I'm like, you know what? I said, I really think that I'm having like some sort of like, flashback from again something that happened in my past so Mm. lo and behold if you if you follow the lyric of the story it's actually true Mm. sitting on my front porch tears rolling down my eyes Mm. and I had this instinct gut instinct that my my boyfriend at the time was seeing somebody else and Uh so I I legit got in my car he, he drove off I, I got in my car and I followed him down that long and winding road mm. and there in the headlights in the blinding rain, he was there with this other girl who happened to be a waitress. Oh. <laughs> so um, this all kind of came up, you know, and like I said, this, you know, it, it's got to be a few decades ago. And obviously I would never um, tell anyone who that person is because I don't <laughs> want to, um, I don't want to give him any notoriety at all. <laughs> <laughs> but um but yeah especially, so there, it is in, I, especially back in your hometown eh? <laughs> yeah 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 so it's definitely um 
you know, different from still that girl, but I think it also shows a part of me that um, I, you know, I need, need to um, be able to round out what I write about and, and what I sing about. Um, I do have two or three um, more songs that are going on to the album that are, um, you know, they've got the fiddle and the banjo and the, the, the toe tapping music, but yeah, it's just, yeah. Yeah, so this this one, and I'm and I'm sure it will resonate with a lot of people, um, and I'm sure it already has started resonating with a lot of people. Uh, I believe it entered the charts at at a pretty good spot on the mm -hmm. on the country thunder Aussie all Aussie charts. I think it was number eight. So mm -hmm. uh, there you go. So good on you. You're, oh, uh, you're thank you. Fans have stepped up and said they like the song, so <laughs> it's fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Well, you know, being in, in lockdown here, um, I, I haven't had an opportunity to rehearse with my band. I've got a five piece band here. Mm. I was mentioning to you earlier that Michelle Gardner, mm. we had flights booked to Tamworth. We were going to spend 10 days there and support each other. And, you know, there's um, the wonderful Kaz Johnson, who's down here. And then you've got also have Claire Jones, who's been, you know, on your show before. We're, you know, diehard Victorians just trying to get the job done. <laughs> you know? yeah. It's like, we just want to, we just want to share what we love. And that's all been, you know, for us, I, um, we're going to, I'm, I'm pretty sure Michelle and I are just going to um, wait until the following year and just do as many festivals as we can when, when the time comes. <laughs> You two should, I mean, you, you, you two could go back a fair bit, you know, because you had the, the music school and her kids were in the, in the school and stuff like that. So <laughs> yeah. you two go back a fair bit. So I think what you should do is just have a, a girls tour. Like, you know, you, you two just yeah, jump on the road super fun. And, and go together and do, you know, small pub gigs where you can, however, however far you can go with it, because I think it'd be yeah. an awesome show. Yeah. She, she's she's definitely a bit like just I, I call her my songbird like she's just such a beautiful and she's beautiful inside and out and it's um interesting too because her daughters are the same age difference as mine except mine are like a decade a decade ahead of hers and then some so um it's funny she looks at pictures of of my kids or we'll go take a walk in the 5ks that we can do around um because she doesn't live far from me. Oh, so and, you're, uh, you're, you're within the 5K bubble with each other. So yeah. together. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, isn't that funny? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. So, yeah, so we spend a bit of time, um, you know, we, we've taken a few walks together, and um, she shares in the um, angst and the frustration, but also, you know, realizing that things could be a lot worse. So oh, yeah. just, doing the, just doing the best we can do. How, how have you been, Dax? Look, you know... This is the thing. Uh, in, 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 in China, we, we you know, I think, you know, we've got 1.4 billion people here. And, uh, you know, mm. yesterday, yesterday there was 11 new cases, you know, like wow. it's not that serious when you think of the population, you know, it's, it's quite spread. And, and most of the stuff that is, um, it's, you know, people coming back from other regions of the world, you know, like they're bringing it back in. So, um, so it's getting, it's getting stopped at the airport before it even gets any further. So I think that's a good thing, but obviously it's, it's cooling down here. And as um, other countries are now experiencing because of, you know, Northern hemisphere is going into winter. Um, mm. The UK is having that is about to have their second wave or is starting to have their second wave. Um, Canada yeah, starting yeah. to have their second wave. Um, yeah. Brazil starting to have their second wave. So, mm -hmm. you know, our concern here is that we're going to have a huge, and I mean, huge second wave, like 80,000 mm -hmm. people the first time round, and it got shut wow. down. But I don't, I don't think they'll have the ability to shut it down if it hits a second time mm. in China. Yeah. So, yeah. It, yeah. so it's, it's a scary thought. We don't know what's going to mm. happen, um, but uh, we're hopeful that it, it just stays away and everything's going to be fine. Mm. Yeah, there we go. And, and blessings that that happens mm. for sure. Um, and I often think about the fact that um, we are, uh, as Australians, we are an island mm. in the middle of the Pacific. Mm. And if there is ever a chance that we can get a handle on um, you know, this, this uh, pandemic, 
it, it, it can and will be done here. And it's just, you know, I, I just hope that, um, you know, we're moving, we're definitely moving in the right direction. So oh, I sure. just would like to be a Noosa this weekend. <laughs> Island, island, island nations are going to be the you know the easiest. You know they're not land. Mm. They're, not, they're not connected to anything else. And Australia and yeah. New Zealand will have the ability to, to 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 get rid of it. But the problem is, we still won't have international travel. We still won't have you know. So I'm still stuck in mm. China because you know australia won't let people from china into the country you know so right, right. um i know that vanessa Bourne is still um she's she lives on uh, philip island but she's trapped in the uk she can't get home you know yeah, um, so yeah. there's that situation now where there's a whole heap of musical artists or it doesn't matter tourists or whatever that are trapped in different exactly parts, different parts of the world because they can't get home anymore yeah couldn't couldn't have you know when you think about i think you and i the first time we spoke we probably had this um, similar conversation, but, you know, you think back on Christmas last year, Christmas drinks, mm. you know, you're chilling out with your family. I was up in Queensland and, and I was um, in a small town um, area called Mount Me or Debra. And mm. I was with my family mm. and, you know, you couldn't, you couldn't dream this up, you know, and, and 2020 is, you know, in a lot of ways, it's, it's the best thing for me um, as far as slowing me down and being able to prioritize my music career, mm. that's fantastic. But um, yeah, you couldn't, I feel like we're kind of sort of on a Netflix movie or something. <laughs> 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 it's like, oh my gosh. And it's, yeah, and it's, it's just and it's, gra and it's Groundhog Day because we wake up and every day is the same. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. Damn, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, and, and I do, and I do feel, you know, from, from an employment standpoint, you know, there's so many people who are so many businesses and I was a small business owner for a really long time. So my heart mm. goes out to all the small business owners mm. and, and even as something as simple as getting into the recording studio to finish, I have lyrics, the, the last couple of verses, um, a verse and a chorus to a song that I'm, I'm finishing for my second album. Uh, mm. I can't get in the studio. Mm. And, and you've got someone as talented as Michael Zamet who mm. can't open his doors um, mm. because not just not only one person can come yeah. in. Yeah. I don't know if you could sing through a mask anyway, but. No, I don't. I don't... <laughs> it'll have a muffled sound. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that way. <laughs> You see the reporters like in America, you see the reporters with their masks on and they're still, and they're still, and they're still talking away. And it, it sounds all right like that, but I think for, for, for singers, I don't think it will yeah. have the same effect. Yeah. yeah. That's right. <laughs> No, we don't want to do that. Let's not go there. We, there used to be, you know, the thing on the microphone that you cover for the wind effect when you're yep. out on like, yeah, yep. that was always interesting. The mm -hmm. little um, covering oh. that they put on mics, but oh, anyway. Oh, 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 we've, got, we've, we've got these, we've got these things now. Look, I've got one here right here. See that? Oh, look at that. There you go. Yeah. There you go. You're I right in the right recording there. studio. I, there you go. I have my own studio. That's, that's. I know you thing. do. <laughs> I know you do. I know you do. And you're, and you're writing music and everything. I think that's fantastic. Well, I'm trying. I'm not, I'm not doing it very well right now because you get these, <laughs> you get these moments of brilliance and then, and then, mm. and then suddenly like that moment passes. Like, so I wrote this, I wrote the song and uh, the other day and I put that up on, on, on yeah. Facebook, obviously. And, um, but I haven't had time to actually sit down and try and produce it. I'm just like, mm, no. Mm. <laughs> and, and because of the subject matter, because it, it is about, obviously it is about this situation that we're in. Mm. I don't feel that it's a sustainable song, you know, for, mm. yes, you know, yes, mm. we should be, we should be thinking about what's important to us and, you know, who we are with are the people we love. And, and that's what the song resonates. But I think that we're going to get past this and I don't think we need that type of memory to stay around. So I sort of haven't really mm. thought about producing it because I don't know that I want to have it out there as something that will be there forever because it won't have an impact in, two years hopefully <laughs> yeah, yeah let's hope let's hope so oh my goodness honestly <laughs> oh gosh so Aww. yeah I mean you know it's a it, it was good uh, it was great I, I started writing it because of Danny Young's uh, midday muster show and yeah oh, she's uh, lovely I was, just, I was just throwing lyrics into her sh into her show and um, <laughs> yeah yeah 
she never used the lyrics. So I was just like, well, something just clicked in me and I just went bang, 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 bang and started writing it out. Mm. It took a whole day to actually, you know, do it. And then I Mm. recorded it on Facebook live, which is another strange situation with all that changing. Now I I believe Mm. that, I believe that APRA has said that you can continue with the live stuff until January. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's good news. At least Facebook. Yeah, that's great news. Back down a bit because Mm. um, uh, they needed to back down because this, situation you know this is the only platform you really have to to get your music for artists to, yeah exactly for artists to connect it, yeah. it truly is it's the only it's the only way and, and they say oh well it's supposed to be for connecting family and friends well yeah but under these circumstances you mm. know it's really really important for mm. people to hear the music as well it's not just the artists getting their music out there but it's also you know it has such an impact on the on the fans and the friends mm. and um you just never know what what a, a line to a song could mean to someone and well, and you know yeah, for sure and and for me as i said in in when i when I posted that, I said, this is for my family and friends and most of my family and yeah. friends are musicians. Yeah. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> and they are, and they are Dax and you're doing a fantastic job. I know a lot of people have, have been providing you with that feedback, but I know I, I released still that girl on the 20th of April and I've never looked back. So I'm, I'm in route um, to an album that I'm going to be very proud of and excited for. Uh, mm. But I would like to attach that to some sort of tour or something. <laughs> I don't know if I'm I, I'm too keen to release an album right at this point. Um, it's a dif- it's a difficult process. It's a difficult time to even think about you know how we can mm. go because you know do we get are we going to get the impact from the album and and many many people have had the same question you know and and yeah. but f- for me what I what I what I think. Um, is that the people that have been releasing the music, you know, have kept the world happy, you know, while, exactly. while yeah. this situation has happened. So, you know, kudos mm. to, for Casey Barnes for saying, hey, I'm go- still going to release the album, Town of a Million Dreams. Yeah. Kudos to Ruarkis for saying, I'm still going to release my album, yeah. Tumbleweed, yeah, you know, yeah. like yeah. that, yeah. you know, and for every single that's come out, you know, that yeah. there's, it's been bring bringing joy to people yeah. where there's no joy in the world right now. So that, yeah, that's exactly right. Well, you, you had commented earlier um, and I'm happy to happy to chat about it um, regarding um, my second single, which was the reimagined version of don't stop. Mm-hmm. Um, and I released that song because the lyric in the song mm. um, is so powerful and, and mm. it, and it gives people hope, you know, um, don't stop if you wake up tomorrow. and you don't want to smile. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And, and so, um, you know, I, I call it the try, I have the trifecta now. Yes, I've got, you know, three, three, three singles out in route, in route to an album. So mm. I'm, I'm excited about that. So what's next? I mean, you know, it's a hard question for anybody to answer right now. And, and, and mm. uh, every artist that I talk to has a, a different, way of thinking about what's to come for 2021 what do you Mm. see coming for you uh moving on through to the end of this year and into 2021 yeah i think it it all boils down to understanding what you can control Mm. and what you cannot control Mm. so i've i've always been um the type of person in my life that i'm able to i'm resilient and i'm able to kind of ebb and flow with what's happening. So Mm. I will just definitely make sure that I say yes Mm. to plenty of opportunities when the opportunities present themselves Mm. and make myself, um, you know, available to do whatever I need to do. So is there a master plan for, for Sandy Facey in 2021? Um, Not really, other than the fact that I want to release the, the, um, the album for sure. Mm. Uh, And I've got some great, I've got some great music, um, uh, on that album. Mm. But as far as, you know, what it all looks like after that, I mean, I'm still stuck in my house. So it's, <laughs> it's like, I don't, I don't have um, a lot of uh, opportunity at the moment. So we'll see how that goes, you know, mm. and, and align myself. I mean, ideally you said some really big names, right? Like, 
Mm. I just released my first song in April. So what, mm. what an ideal situation for me would be in 2021 is to align myself with someone who's amazing and perhaps I open for them. Yeah, with my go, band. On, go on tour with one of the bigger names. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and, and there's no ego there, you know, for me, it, it's just, I love what I do and there's no better feeling than being on stage and having people sing along with you, dance mm. along with you. Mm. And it's that, that cool vibe, you know, that energy that goes back and forth, you can't beat it. So, Hey, I'm, you know, it, since you asked, I'll put that out there. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm open for, you know, whatever opportunities present themselves. There you go, artists. Yeah. So, you know, if you're on a tour, <laughs> you. Sandy Face is going to open for you. You know, <laughs> contact her. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look, um, musically speaking, uh, you know, you've got the new track out. It's only fresh, so, you know. But um, what's happening in the future? Do you see another another single release before the end of the year or early next year? You have all the good questions, Dax, I don't do. you? <laughs> I, I, I do have one in the pipe that I am contemplating a release, um, mm -hmm. and it is near and dear to my heart. It is the very first song I ever wrote, and it is, um, yeah, it is about a young lady, a beautiful young lady who um, passed away from cystic fibrosis um, mm. before she reached the age of 20. Oh. Um, and the song's called Hummingbird mm. and it's a beautiful song and it's, mm. and it's got, it, when, when I first wrote it, it was very emotive. Um, I, I wrote it and recorded it the same day she passed away. Uh -huh. So the, the, the first role, the first demo role of it was mm. very, you know, very emotive. Role, um, yeah. the second, the second production of, of the song, which, um, has yet to be released mm. is a celebration of her life. Mm -hmm. Lyrics haven't changed. The melody hasn't changed, but the, the, the feeling that you get when you listen to it now, and I'm it listening. tells us, mm -hmm. yeah, it is. It is. So, mm -hmm. um, I have plans to connect, um, reconnect with cystic fibrosis, Australia mm -hmm. and do some wonderful things and support that, um, amazing organization. Um, there's some great people here, mm -hmm. um, in the community that, that support cystic fibrosis. So I'm, I would love to, um, work with them again but that's a, that's there you amazing. go like what that's, yeah that's amazing that's awesome so everybody look oh, out for that you. single it's called hummingbird so uh, look out <laughs> you're, for that. you're gonna that's, push that one out aren't it's, you? <laughs> it's just it's just amazing the, compa the comparison that we just talked about i mean obviously um i wrote a song back in now i believe it was 2006 all right um <laughs> and it was the the day that uh, steve Irwin died you know, like, <clears throat> and it's called Crikey, That's Dangerous. And mm -hmm. I wrote it about him because I was just shocked at the death. Yeah. And, you know, on the, on the day that I, rec on the day that I sat down and wrote it and then recorded it, same thing. It was just like, it was so real. It was so emotional. It was so like, and it's on, it's on Spotify. It's on YouTube. It's on all those places. Go, go and yeah. check it out. You know, Crikey, oh, That's Dangerous. Um, yeah. Okay. But yeah, I had that same inclination. I mean, it wasn't about a certain person that I knew or anything like that, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just, I've done that a few times when something hits mm. me, like, you know, like I did one for Peter Brock, but I never recorded it. Cause I just, you know, I didn't want to go there. Um, mm. But um, that's yeah. when we're supposed to write Dax. I mean, I'm sure you've interviewed enough people and been around the industry long enough mm. to know that, you know, we're, um, we're vulnerable because yeah. we open our hearts and we share, we take chances, mm. <clears throat> excuse me. And we share because um, that's what we're on this planet to do. I mm. truly believe that I have to take a quick drink. Sorry. That's all right. You got me choked up. <laughs> 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 yeah. So uh, that, that's what I believe is. And, and it, and whilst we share that, share our heart with others, it also heals us too, because we're Absolutely. able to, um, you know, Mm. express ourselves so <laughs> right well there we go well thank you very much for your time <laughs> it's been great to speak to you and as always whenever Thanks, the man. next one comes out we'll be speaking again i just know it <laughs> all right thank you and can i just quickly say thank you to everyone who has supported my musical journey on um, which started 
here in April. So I, I appreciate all the votes for um, still that girl and for last time and don't stop and yeah. yeah, we'll see what happens next. Thanks, Dax. All right, there you go. So that is Sandy Facey and her first single, Still That Girl, is still playing on the Country Thunder <laughs> Network and still <laughs> in rotation. She has her second single, Don't Stop, playing on the Country Thunder Network and her brand new track, Last Time, is also playing on the th- Country Thunder Network. You can go to that website, countrythunder.com.au, and you can request it straight from the player or you can vote for it in the Country Thunder 20. The voting form is at the top of the page. You can also wait for the new single, Hummingbird, to come out. <laughs> <laughs> so check out Sandy's uh, social, uh, socials. So her Facebook page, Instagram, for all the news that is coming up for Sandy Facey. Until next time, this is DJ Dax, and you have been watching Dax Chats, which is proudly supported by Neon Horse in Stanhope, Victoria. Bye for now.